Yeah, RJ, what has changed or what's going really well about the offense lately? It seems it's different parts of the season. Maybe you guys struggled a little bit, but it seems like everything seems to be working uh, right now. Um, I mean, right now we just we all, we're just clicking on all cylinders. Uh, we're right now we're we're really together, um, and we have a lot of weapons. I mean, that's that's our big that's our our strong point. We have a lot of depth people. We have a lot of scores on our team. And we all right now we're all stepping up and we're all playing together right now. That's what's been really working for us. Down Mamari, Hartford. Yeah, RJ, I know Coach mentioned yesterday that uh, you know he was wor- he, he was concerned that no none of you guys had really played in conference tournaments before. Or you probably had, but uh, did you guys feel any jitters, any nerves? What? Uh, no, nah, I mean we've been ready to play since we got here. Um, the energy when we got here uh, for our shoot, our first practice on the on the on the, on the court was amazing, um, and we we just can't wait we can't wait to get back out here. I mean, this is a once in like a once in a lifetime opportunity for everybody, um, and just to play on the big stage it's amazing, and that's what we come to UConn for. This is this is the things that we live for. Roger Cleveland, Waterbury. RJ, where does all the confidence come from that you guys are playing with right now? Uh, I mean, just believing in, in one another and believing in one of, in ourselves. Um, we're very talented when we're when we all are confident in ourselves, and I mean, and it's uh, very uh, evident on there out there on the floor. Dan Borges. Borges, well, I just want to look ahead to tomorrow night. Um, obviously, you did a real good job on Zagorowski the first time you played him. But I don't know if you've noticed the last couple of games. Have you seen? Does he look like a little bit of a different player the, the last week or so um, than when you played him the first couple of times? I mean, <laughs> he's a good player. Uh, but we're gonna we're gonna have a good scout tomorrow. Uh, we can't wait to get out there and play tomorrow. That's all I got to say about that. Last question for RJ Wayne Norman. RJ, you had the matchup against Charlie Moore, and once again, I thought that you had the advantage in that. Talk about how you defended him and what you tried to take away from him. Uh, Charlie Moore, he's a good player as well. Uh, he's he's really good in transition. Uh, so just making sure that we're getting back on defense uh, and keeping in front of keeping him in front of us. Uh, he's he's really good with the ball. He has counter moves, so just keeping keeping him in front of us, it, it works. Hey, Tyrese, what was it like to play in your first Big East tournament game? Um, I felt really good. It's something I wanted to do for my whole life. I dreamed of. That's why I come into UConn. This was a big thing, them coming into the Big East. Now I'm playing in the Big East tournament today was something. It was a dream come true, and it felt good that we got the win. Tom Canavan, AP. Hey, Tyrese, they beat you twice this year. What makes you think it will be different next time? We're a different team. We're at full strength, and we're probably one of the hottest teams in the country right now. So to beat us, you're going to have to do a lot of things. And I don't think that the team right now is going to do that. Sean McFarland. Hey, Tyrese, you played well against DePaul in the first two games of the season, and then you had 14 and 10 tonight. What do you think about this matchup suits you well? Is it? Just kind of a game by game thing with you. Um, against them, they're just a smaller team, so I just use that to a strength, my size, and just get to my spots, and that's why. I, that's really it. We'll do two more for Tyrese, Danny Barletta, Daily Campus. Hey Tyrese, uh, you guys dominated them on the the boards tonight. Uh, how how important was that to the result of the game? Um, that was one of the key things we talked about before the game started was the rebounding. That's our identity. That's who we are. We're not here to switch anything up just because we're in the Big East tournament now. So we stuck to who we are, and the score showed itself. The rebounding numbers showed itself. Last question, Russell Steinberg, SB Nation. Hey, Tyrese. Um, w- one thing that people are saying a lot uh, – on the broadcast is that when James Book Knight went down earlier in the year, uh, everyone else kind of had to step up and and learn to uh, elevate their game. And and that's benefited uh, the team since he's come back. Do do you agree with that? And kind of how has the cast around uh, Book Knight improved over the last few weeks? Um, I definitely agree. Uh, Most of players had to step up when he went down. 
And then when he came back, it just looks like a different team. I mean, we got weapons all over now. Nobody, but we're a bad team when we're just stuck watching him. And I feel like that's what we did before he got injured. And then we had to play without him. And we all got our confidence, got a more of a feel for the game. And after that, we just who the team we are now. Coach, if you want to make an opening statement, then we'll have some questions. Yeah, thrilled, uh, thrilled with the, uh, obviously, the win. Uh, you know, watching DePaul last night and uh, you know, versus Providence, their athleticism, and, and they played really, really well last night. So it was really important for us uh, in the first half to, uh, you know, to separate ourselves and to try to, you know, take their hope away, um, you know, by the level that, we, you know, we, we would be able to play at at both ends of the court. And, um, you know, it was just a really, really clean, really clean performance at both ends. We'll go to questions. Mike Anthony, you're first. Thanks. Dan, there was almost like joyous celebration just in reaching this city, this tournament, uh, this platform again. And then there's another part of the conversation that, like you said last week, kind of has you as a sneaky Final Four team. But in between, um, how, how satisfied are you that the team just kind of like met this moment and, and focused on the basketball opportunity at, at hand? You, you mean for the tournament here or, or just overall? Like, yeah, just how you came out and, and actually just took care of business and blocked out any noise tonight, really. Yeah, I mean, listen, we, uh, it's all about uh, obviously uh, you know, you, you, your culture and um, just having like, a, you know, a great group of talented players that are about the right things and uh, just having an excellent staff. And uh, you know, if you've got the right players and the right staff and the right culture, you could turn off the noise and, and uh, just go about your preparation and um, you know, go out there and, 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 and play to the best of your ability. And, and uh, you know, we, we feel the excitement. I mean, our fan base is uh, it's one of the best in the country. And um, you know, we're just happy that, that, um, you know, that, that we're uh, giving them something to be excited about in March again. It's been a while. Thanks. Wait, Wayne Norman, you're next, Wayne. Dan, a season-high 53 rebounds, a season-high 21 offensive rebounds. That's the good news. The bad news is you had a lot of second- and third-chance opportunities and couldn't get points off of it. So talk about the yin and the yang. What? Uh, <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, you can't, you know, you can't obviously make, uh, you know, everything. Um, you know, we scored enough. Um, we were tenacious on the glass and – yeah, that was a real concern of ours coming in because, you know, we're one of the best offensive rebounding teams in the country. But, you know, DePaul as well is, is uh, you know, they're, they're, uh, they're, they're a beast on the backboard. So um, to dominate them on the glass the way we did, the way they go after the ball, uh, you know, is obviously uh, – it's a huge part of who we are. It's a huge part of our identity, defense and rebounding. Two more for Coach Dom Amore. Dan, can you update us on James? Uh, what uh, I know you mentioned cramping. What uh, what's going on there? Yeah, he's, he's getting the IV, and, and uh, you know, he's just he's got uh, you know he's cramping, and um, you know, I guess we'll just see. I, I'm not, I'm just not sure where it came from. Uh, you know, our medical team, and uh, you know, James and, and Mike, the strength coach, James Doran, they got to. Gotta have him ready tomorrow. So we better figure it out. <laughs> Last question, Dave Borges. Yeah, Dave. just, uh, just uh, Dan Creighton. I mean, you played him twice. They beat you both times. Uh, you're a better team now, but you, just watching them the last couple of games, do they look like a different team now? And in particularly Zagorowski playing very well right now. Yeah, I mean, to be honest with you, you know, we we played. Uh, you know, we, we played Georgetown and then, um, you know, in our last game, and then we were preparing for the winner of Providence and, uh, and DePaul. So, you know, I, we, we, when you're preparing to play, you know, your first round game, you, you really don't spend a whole lot of time watching, you know, watching like other teams in the league. So, uh, I mean, we know how good those guys are. I got a ton of respect for, uh, you know, they got a, they got a, a hell of a team, a team that, um, has as good a chance as any, you know, to, to win this championship. And, 
and a team that can make a deep run into into the NCAA tournament next week. So, um, you know, they've got I get tremendous respect for their their players and you know the way that they're they're focused right now with uh, you know with everything that they've been dealing with, the way that they are locked in and playing you know really really good basketball. So uh, yeah, I mean that's uh, we're just excited you know for us to. Uh, to be in the you know Big East Conference semifinals versus one of the best teams in the country, and uh, and we get a chance to uh, to play a marquee game tomorrow night, which is uh, which is exciting. I mean, uh, you know, to be able to give college basketball fans you know kind of a fun game to tune into tomorrow night, uh, you know, during during this like brutal COVID time. Uh, you know, it's, we, we know it's a tremendous challenge, but it's exciting too.